Hello everyone, my name of course is Resonant, and welcome back to a new video. Many of you will remember quite some time ago, I spoke about a new update coming out for a game called Tiger Knight Empire War. This is a free to play game and uh, if you guys haven't actually checked it out, I definitely recommend it. There will be a link to it in the description as always. And of course it's free to play so you're not going to lose anything getting it and it is a really nice free to play game. There were, is videos on my channel of it if you want to go and check that out first, so go and look at that. This update will include some more features, but the main addition which most people know about is the Roman Empire. These are being added into the game, new units, new formations and all that kind of stuff. The update was set to be released on the 9th of February, but it was delayed for numerous reasons. The new scheduled release date is the 17th of February, which is a couple of dates since I'm recording this, but maybe by the time you're watching this it will actually be out. The reason I'm making this video, as many of you know, I have actually made a video on the Roman update before, but that was very early when it was announced. The reason I'm making this now is because I've recently received some more information and teasers from the developers, which I'll be showing to you today. We of course have the new units with a new faction, but there are some other features that are going to be included, including an entirely new game mode, so watch out for that and I'll be explaining that near the end of this video. So sit back, relax and enjoy tonight's video on the new Roman update for Tiger Knight Empire War. Formations now, in Tiger Knight Empire War, you command your small squadron, your small little army. You do certain troop types, they can have certain weapons, and you can have adjutants. Now these adjutants are basically the NPC dudes, and they go around you with you in the battle. Now, only adjutants have the ability for formations in the current version. However, the Roman soldiers, except of course for tier 1, will all possess formations that come along with them. Roman units of high level have even have more than one formation, which means they don't actually have to rely on the adjutant's capability for laying out formations. Now this is very interesting, many of you, if you know much about the Romans, know that the way that they fought was in tight knit formations, especially during the imperial era. Here they had their tight formations, they fought with the gladius and the scutum. These were perfectly made for the type of warfare that the Romans wanted to use. They fought with their shield walls alongside each other, their scutums locked in place with each other, and their short sword or gladius was used for stabbing, where they could keep their shield up but also get some good stabs in on the enemy as well. It was perfectly designed as it was very tricky to block incoming attacks from the Roman legionaries and it would not prevent the allies or the other Romans alongside you being able to attack as well. Now these will all be added into the game and I'm really excited to see all the formations we can get up. Now of course we have the generic shield wall formation, but will we see some sort of testudo formation or even a wedge formation? Formations such as the wedge formation were actually documented to be used in battles such as one of the final battles against Boudicca during the British invasion where they used sort of a zigzag wedge formation which just funneled the British in and they were absolutely destroyed. I think the Romans had about 10,000 or 20,000 men against Boudicca's 200,000 men. And it was a complete slaughter. So it'll be really nice to see what kind of formations they can actually add in. And hopefully they will all have their separate perks. For example, Testud will be used for sieging and covering from projectiles. Shield walls will be good for fighting other infantry and maybe we'll have other things such as anti-cavalry formations and that sort of interesting things. Now, of course there will be some downsides to these formations. They probably will have some negative effects as well. Talking about going back to the test studio is, of course that will probably make you slower, maybe you won't even be able to move at all. But Overall, I'm just really excited to see what they can actually add in with the new formations because it's not really something we've seen. If any of you have actually watched my videos, at the moment you have the Han Dynasty in the game, which is what I play as. And if you've seen in my videos, my formation tactics is not great. We mostly just have my guys charging in or following me or going to separate points where they can hold a position. We don't actually have proper formations that we can carry out and that we can use to our advantage or in some cases accidentally used to our disadvantage because it all adds a nice area of tactics into the game it will add more strategy and it will make you choose whether you want to use a certain formation or not at a certain time 
At the moment, there will actually be more Raymond adjutants. So, the Signifer, which many of you know, is normally the standard bearer. A lot of the time, they're pictured wearing bear skin and things like that, or wolf skin. And uh, they have their standard, or sometimes even the eagle. And this will be a low or middle level, level adjutant. Marcus Nonius Macrinus is a senior adjutant of the legions. I know it's a bit of a mouthful to pronounce there, and I probably didn't even do that right. But it shows that they're going to have different levels of adjutants, just like they have with the Han Dynasty. But something very interesting that caught my eye is adjutants of the Han Dynasty can also command the Roman troops. Which will be very interesting to see. We'll be able to like maybe mix and match some of the troops and the adjutants in there. And I would really love to see, can they carry out the formations on the troops or will it affect how they can command them? Will maybe a Han Dynasty adjutant be able to have less commands on the Roman legions and the legionaries than a Roman adjutant would? Or will it be very even? I'm really excited to see that. And just to see the new things that they're adding in. Because having new units really is good for refreshing a game. Me personally, I played a lot of Tiger Knight Empire War when it first out. And it's kind of died down a bit. But I'm definitely going to get back into it as soon as this new update comes out. And updates are really important for keeping games alive. And I'm very glad that the developers are not only updating the game regularly. But they're also keeping us up to date on it verbally so they actually contacted me to tell me about all this stuff which is really nice which means i can then convey it on to you which means a wider audience gets to see all the new stuff that is being added into the game now new weapons and of course new armor is going to be added into the game that not only you'll see in the legionaries but you will actually be able to use yourself the animations and attack actions will have distinctive roman styles which I presume is the developers saying that they're going to try and make sure Romans fight like Romans, the Chinese fight like the Chinese, and it's going to have a very authentic and realistic feel. So that kind of reinforces my point seeing we're going to see some close, tight-knit formation fighting with the Romans, and as you can probably see by the gameplay in the background. The armor and the weapons and just the animations look absolutely insane. I'm very excited to see this for real and actually play it for myself. I'll definitely put some videos up on this because it seems like it's going to be a really big update for this game. More additions that they will be adding in that isn't very much related to the Roman update, but it will be coming out at the same time is they're trying to design a new UI interface. Personally, I think the UI interface before was absolutely fine. I'm not quite sure what they're going to be changing in that. But let's just hope they don't mess it up and they put in a UI interface that is a lot easier for everyone else to use. Personally, like I said, I didn't see too many problems with the one before. But updates are always nice, making it more accessible and better gameplay for the user. Now I've gone through the new faction and the new things that will be added in in the new update that is coming out in a few days. If you guys are really excited about that, I'd love to see your comments down below. But before you do that, I'm happy to announce the final thing. You may remember that I mentioned at the start of the video that it's going to be an entirely new game mode. Now this is very much linked in with the Roman theme and I'm very excited to see how they're going to implement it and exactly how it's going to work. because. I can understand why they added it in, and I'm very excited to see, but there are chances this could go very wrong, because Tiger Knight Empire War is more of a strategical, big scale thing with your troops, you commanding them. But they're trying to have a game mode where it's narrowed down into the close personal battles that we know and love, that is very famous in the Roman Empire and Roman history in general, and this is gladiatorial battles. There's going to be a new game mode called the Arena Mode, and uh, I'm going to quickly go over now what that's going to be, what's going to include, and what I kind of hope to see, and what we can expect to see. So I'm going to read a little bit from the website, exactly what they are telling us so far about what they're adding in, and I'm going to get my give my take on it as well later on. So the arena was a place where the Romans watched wrestling, and was an important public facility in the social life of Rome. In order to meet the needs of the audience, the arena was arranged into a variety of scenes simulating every corner of the vast territory of the Roman Empire. The gladiators will fight in a pair or within a crowd, and their efforts pleasing the audience with blood as they attempt to win both life and glory. Now of course, this is more of a general overview of what gladiatorial battles or the arena really was in the Roman history. 
but it gives us a good clue about what we can actually expect when this update comes out and this new game mode is released. So it has said that there were different varieties of scenes that are simulating. There's a very famous one that many of you may have heard about in some documentaries where it was actually, there's some evidence of them flooding the Colosseum and actually trying to make a ship battle there, which is very interesting. And I doubt that will be in this new update. Of course, that'll be amazing if it is, but I doubt it will. But it really shows that hopefully this new update is going to bring out a variety of different things. It's not just going to be a sand pit in the middle with a few obstacles in the way. Maybe they're going to try and recreate and simulate some new scenes and things like that. Maybe we're going to have like a jungle scene where you have a gladiatorial battle or maybe an icy or snowy scene, and of course, a desert scene, and so things like that. It'll be really interesting to see what variety of things they can add in to this game. Now, it says that the gladiators will fight in a pair or within a crowd. So, within this game mode, maybe we're gonna have separate things where you can fight single on your own. Maybe you can do 1v1s. Maybe you can do free rolls with loads of people. That'll be very interesting to see how that's gonna work out. Will it just be a mosh pit or will you actually be able to get some decent battles out of that? And of course, the pair fighting where you have a partner. Maybe you have different gear. Maybe there's set classes or maybe you bring your own gear and you have to fight against other pairs in order to win the audience's favor. And that brings me on to the final bit that I saw there. Their efforts pleasing the crowd with blood as they attempt to win both life and glory. Now could this be a new mechanic that we are going to see in the new update? When you win battles, can you gain some sort of renown sort of thing? Of course, you'll probably gain some gold or rewards and gifts and things like that. But what about renown? Will you be able to use that for other things? Or maybe you'll be able to use it as influence for recruiting new units and things like that. That'll be really interesting to see. And I'm very excited to see how they're going to implement this new arena mode. And I hope you guys are as well. If you guys are really interested about this new update, if you are excited about the Romans, which for me, I definitely am. If you're excited about the whole new game mode, remember to leave your comments down below telling me what you think about this new update and what you would most likely want to see. If you guys really enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, you know what to do if you didn't. But other than that guys, I really hope you want to subscribe if you haven't already, maybe see some more videos from this channel. But until then, I will see you in the next one.